the Mets get Johan Ramirez, you know, for cash here. And Joe, there's a conversation to be had about the player who had some success with the Pirates last year. Ultimately, the White Sox move on from him. To me, this move was, okay, I'm starting to see some bullpen strategy from David Stearns here. I'm starting to see the, we're going to take a flyer on this arm and we are going to look for guys in very defined roles. So first off, I wanted your take on just Johan Ramirez as a player. And if you kind of saw it like me in a sense that, okay, they're trying to get something here on the margins, extremely low cost, but a guy that has had many successful runs at the major league level in recent history. What David Stern said, I believe it was at the winter meetings when talking about how he wants to build a bullpen. He wants to build it with unique arm angles, unique pitch angles. He wants each reliever to kind of look different. You don't just want a bunch of, you know, four seam fastballs that have, you know, 15 inch of vertical break, like everything the same because hitters are able to pick up on that. When you look at someone like Johan Ramirez, where he's a little unique and interesting to me, I, I think he's going to be much more effective against right-handed hitters than he is against lefties. But it's a, a sinker sweeper guy. Sinker is mid-90s, average 95.1 miles an hour this past year. Sweeper gets you know north of 15 inches of horizontal break. What stands out when I look at his numbers and – you know, obviously anyone could go on baseball reference and see he had an ERA over four, which led to a lot of fans rolling their eyes. I look a little deeper. You go under the hood a little bit. And where Johan Ramirez stands out is a lot of times when we talk about relievers, you're talking about you're looking at strikeout rate. Strikeout rate is just not the biggest part of Johan Ramirez's game. He's going to strike out like eight guys per nine innings. His game is inducing weak contact, missing barrels ground balls he had a 60 almost a 61 percent ground ball rate this year 